Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. Are you a larger person like me? If so, it's kind of hard to find the right mattress to give you that support, that extra durability that you need. But I think I have two mattresses here today that could work for you. I got the Big Fig and the New Purple, specifically the Purple 4. Now, which one will be the perfect fit for you? Stick around. All right, let's talk about some of the similarities between these two mattresses. All right, first, I think they're both gonna be a good fit for heavier people. The big thing is made specifically for larger people, and while the Purple 4 is not, I think it's still gonna be a good fit. Secondly, construction. They're both gonna have similar base layers, they're both gonna have coils, and they're gonna have a comfortable air on top, so they're both hybrid mattresses. And lastly, I think they're both gonna be durable mattresses. They're both made to last a little bit longer, so if you're a larger person, again, a good choice on both. All right, now while there are some similarities between these two mattresses, I think they're different in a lot of ways as well. First, the Big Fig here is gonna be a firmer mattress. You definitely don't press into the mattress quite as much as you do on the Purple 4. Also, the constructions and materials in the construction are quite different as well. With the Big Fig here, you have about four or five foam layers on top, and over here on the Purple, it's a really unique hyperelastic gel polymer. And because of that, you have very different feels. You kind of have this little bit of softness on here with kind of a balanced hybrid feel overall in the Big Fig. And over on the Purple 4, it's a really unique squishy feeling. Um, it kind of has a firm feeling, but it's also pressure relieving at the same time. All right, let's talk about the construction of these two matters, Start, starting with the cover and working our way down. Over here on the Big Fig, you're gonna have a tufted quilted cover. It's gonna be quilted with some polyfoam. It's so really kind of soft, a little bit of a pillow top feel there on this mattress. Moving to the Purple 4, a thin kind of soft cover here as well, but you can easily get down to this gel layer beneath that. Down to the comfort layers, you're gonna have a gel foam layer and three layers of polyfoam over here on the Big Fig. And over here on the Purple 4, again, a very unique gel grid. It's a hyperelastic gel polymer. It's a gel grid, so you're gonna have some space for um, breathability there as well and some airflow. Moving down to the coils on both, you're gonna have about seven inches of coils on both and then a very similar base layer. So overall, the main difference is gonna be the feel you get with these. You're gonna have this kind of balanced foam feel on top down to like a hybrid feel. So overall, kind of a balanced hybrid feel. Over on the Purple 4, again, a very unique feel. You're gonna sink in a little bit. Uh, it's gonna collapse under the heavier parts of your body. It's firm, pressure leaving at the same time. Again, a very unique experience. In terms of breathability, I think you're gonna have a, definitely a benefit on the Purple 4. A lot of room for air to flow through the gel grid here, more than you have on the Big Fig here. And then finally, durability. I think the Purple 4 might actually have the advantage. This gel grid, again, it's unique, but it's made to last for quite a long time. All right, let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. Starting with firmness, on the big fig here, I said it was an eight out of 10, definitely firmer than average. The purple four here, I said it was a five out of 10, definitely softer than average. Now, just a note with the purple four here, it's a very, very unique mattress in that it's designed to be firm until you put enough pressure on it, and then actually the gel grid will collapse under that. So when I'm on my side, it's definitely more concentration of weight on my shoulders than my hips, so it collapses the gel grid more, and I feel that kind of pressure melt away. However, a lighter person might not have the same experience, they don't activate that gel grid in quite the same way. So the feel on this is gonna have this kind of squishy, gel, firm at pressure leaving the same time feel. And then over on the Big Fig, you're gonna have kind of a balanced hybrid feel overall, with a little bit of a pillow top feel on top. All right, let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions, starting with the Big Fig. Now, just to note, this mattress is made for much larger people, for up to 500 pounds per person or two people, so up to 1,000 pounds. Now, I'm 230 pounds, I'm a larger person, but I might not be quite big enough for this mattress. So if you're larger than me, you might have a different experience in these sleeping positions. But that being said, on my back, the mattress is actually too firm for me. This is rare. Usually a mattress will be too soft on my back, but on this mattress, it's actually too firm. It's actually pushing my spine up. I feel like it's getting out of alignment. My hips don't sink in enough to get, give me that proper neutral alignment. Moving to my side, again, it's a firmer mattress. I feel some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. I don't feel great in this position. However, on my stomach, in this position, I feel very well supported. I don't feel like my hips are sticking in too far. I'm not bowing in at the hips. I feel great. Moving to the purple four, starting on my back, Good overall support, my hips collapse under the gel grid there, but then the rest of my body is held up. Moving to my side, really good pressure relief. As a heavier person, a lot of times I'll bottom out on mattresses where I kind of push the comfort layers down to the firm layers beneath, not in the purple four. Moving to my stomach, also good overall support. 
So overall, between these two mattresses, I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, I'd lean more towards the Purple 4. If you're a heavier side sleeper, also the Purple 4. If you're a heavier stomach sleeper, both could work, but I think the big thing might be the better choice. All right, I've given you kind of a subjective view of what I thought of these mattresses in terms of firmness and feel, but I wanted to give more of an objective view for you as well. To do that, I'm gonna use a pressure map, and I put it on each mattress, and I lie down. You'll see anywhere from blue for no pressure all the way to red for high pressure. The thing to really pay attention to is gonna be the side sleeping position, and how it relieves pressure on my shoulders and my hips. So looking at how it performed on the big fig here, you're gonna see some pressure there on my hips especially. Uh, moving to the purple four, you'll see a little bit of red there as well. Now I will say that it was difficult to get a proper reading on the Purple 4 is a squishier mattress, so I definitely look bigger on the screen there. However, I did feel very, very little pressure on my shoulders and my hips with the Purple 4. All right, if you sleep with a partner, there's two other things you definitely want to consider. It's going to be motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is when you're one side of the mattress and your partner from the other side of the mattress, are you gonna feel their motion transfer across the mattress? Between these two mattresses, I think the big fig actually performs better. It's not the best, but between the two mattresses, it's definitely the better with this because you have the foam layers on top, it absorbs that motion a little bit better than the gel grid does here in the Purple 4. Also with edge support, edge support is how well you're gonna be held up when you're sitting near the edge, or also how close to the edge you can lie down. I think also you're gonna have a better experience on the big thing here. It's a firmer mattress, uh, it doesn't compress. You can even see when I'm sitting on the purple four here, it's compressing a little bit more. Um, you don't have that experience in the big thing. Okay, we talked a lot of details about these mattresses. We talked about firmness and feel, construction, motion transfer, but you wanna know which mattress should you get. Starting on the big thing. This mattress is actually made for much larger people, between 300 and 500 pounds, I would say. It can also hold up to 1,000 pounds, so two people up to 500 pounds. So I think I might actually be too light for this mattress, really get the full experience of the big thing. I'm not pressing into the foam quite that much as a heavier person would. So if you're in that weight range, I would consider the big fig. Secondly, I think if you're a larger stomach sleeper, it could be a good match. A lot of times the heavier stomach sleeper, even myself, I'll press into the hips and feel myself get out of alignment, not on the big fig here. And I think finally, if you're looking for a kind of a balanced hybrid feel, this is the mattress to go for. You have some foam on top and you have the coils beneath that. Over on the Purple 4, who should get the Purple 4? I think if you're a heavier side sleeper, it's gonna be a really, really good fit. Again, I bottom out on a lot of mattresses, I don't have this experience here. It's also a softer mattress when I'm on my side, so I feel barely any pressure on my shoulders and my hips. I think also if you're a hot sleeper, I would definitely look at this mattress. A lot of airflow, a lot of breathability in this mattress, you shouldn't be overheating on the Purple 4. And I think lastly, if you're a heavier back sleeper, um, it allows your hips to sink in just the right amount, but it keeps you flat and supported on the rest of the mattress. All right, while these mattresses have a lot of similarities, I think in the end they're very, very different. So it should be easy to choose between them. However, if you're still confused, just leave a comment below, you need a personal recommendation, I'll get right back to you. So that about does it for our comparison. If you're just getting started on your search, I would check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a list of our top picks for heavy people, I was Google Mattress Clarity, best mattress for heavy people, and let me know if you have any questions.